Hi guys and welcome to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I really do appreciate it so very much. Welcome, my name is Aiden. I'm so happy that you are here. Today is an empties video. I have so many empties. Last month in April wasn't too much. May I had finished so much. I actually finished like eight products in the last two days of the month because I did, I filmed my skincare project, uh, use it up and I was like, had everything put together and had counted everything and then I added eight more things that I finished in the last two days so I'm very proud of myself I am really happy about some of these things once again I am going to divide it into sections so you're gonna see like uh, home scent makeup skincare body care hair care all of those separated out you'll have time steps down below let me know what you have been using up if there are certain things that you have been uh, feel like a victory over. I definitely feel that with some of these. And also let me know how you're doing. Don't forget to like and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And do leave me a comment, please. I'm actually going to start with Home Scent because they're just like on the top. And the Bath and Body Works SAS has just started when you see this. So if there's anything that you're interested in, they might have it on sale at uh Bath and Body Works. So first thing up is Easter. Happy Easter. This candle. This was Tutti Fruity Candy. I was so excited about this one. I ordered it online. I really love the scent. Oh, it smells so good. So the scent notes are sweet jelly beans, mixed berries, and sugared lemon. This thing burned so fast. I think I got four uses out of it and only, you know, like two, three hours at a time. It wasn't like I was burning it for six hours at a time. But yeah, it burned out so quickly, it just poof, it was gone. And I was like, what? How did this already get done? So I really like this. If I found it for 75% off, I would purchase it again. Um, I'm filming this before SAS, so I have no idea what's going to be in the stores that I have near me. But yeah, I really like this one. I, I love this set. If you see anything in Tutti Fruity Candy, I think it's a good scent to get. I finished a second three wick. This one I finished. This was one of the eight things I finished. This is Sour Melon Drop. I love the scent of this one. The notes are Juicy Candied Watermelon, Sour Green Apple, and Bursting Honeydew Melon. It's so nice, but I had issues with this candle. So um, first off, I'm going to show you, can you see this? It is like it got too hot. It burned so hot. Like I, this is the only candle I've ever had to trim the wicks on. Usually that, you know, they burn out and they're pretty close to the wax level, but these did it and they really frayed out. Plus the first time I burned it, they were like shooting out. They were, you know, like a good inch above the rim, which was scary. And I don't burn this. I put, burn this on a metal filing cabinet with nothing else around it. So it's, it's not going to catch anything on fire, thank goodness. But I was so shocked at how heavy this burned, how hot. Um, and then if you can see inside, like about halfway through, it just started turning black and black. Um, and I know like I was trimming the wicks on this one uh, on a regular basis. So I was really disappointed in how it performed as a candle, but I loved the scent. Like this is a candle that I could come back because I had this in my office. I came back like two days later after burning this and I could still smell this like in the office space. So yeah, I really liked this one, but man, it, it didn't perform very well. I do have another one of it. This one I think I ordered online and the other one I picked up in store. So we'll see if they're different batches and if one works better than the other. So stay tuned. I'm not going to burn it probably this summer because I have other candles that I want to work through. But yeah, I was kind of like disappointed in it. But it's an easy one that I can uh, get rid of now because of this, you know. Finished a wallflower. This is watermelon lemonade. I love watermelon lemonade. It is one of my favorite scents. Let me tell you the notes. You're going to see it again in a second though. Watermelon ice sparkling or watermelon lemonade. Did I say watermelon ice? Watermelon ice sparkling water and Meyer lemon. It was really good. I finished a antibacterial. Uh, I have not been using these as much because I'm more of a hand washer. So I go through soaps a lot more and this is just kind of like if I need it uh, I didn't like the scent of the Mary cookie I don't like gourmand I don't like the bakery scents from Bath and Body Works because most of the time they make me feel slightly nauseous nauseated not nauseous um so yeah I didn't like this one it was 
Like I could handle it in this form, but I would never purchase anything in Mary Cookie just because of my own, like my scent preferences and what sets my body off. I finished four soaps. Are we surprised? No, we're not because that's basically what I've been doing the past several months. So first up is Kitchen Lemon. This is Zesty Lemon Sparkling Citrus and Italian Bergamot. I really like this one. I think it is a really good one. I, I don't use it in the kitchen. I use it in the bathroom, but I, I like this one. I liked this one because I put it in my pineapple uh, holder because I have the pineapple soap holder and I liked the colors with it. That, that's why it went there. Then I did Frosted Coconut Snowball. Like I said in my last Bath of Body Works haul, I had run out of like non-Christmas type soaps. So this one seemed, you know, the least Christmassy Christmassy because I had like Frosted Cranberry and Winter Candy Apple and Tis the Season, which are very, you know, very much more Christmassy type scents. So this is Creamy Coconut Whipped Vanilla and Sugar Crystals. It smelled really good. I did like it. The packaging is super cute. Didn't really go with my pineapple, but in desperate times, you, you do desperate measures. Then we did Honolulu Sun. I like this one. This is probably my least favorite of all of them. I still like it though. It's not my normal fruity type scent, as you can probably tell. Uh, this one I got for 75% off. That's why I got it. And if I find more of it at SAS, I would purchase 75% off uh, gel hand soaps. That's one of the things I'm looking for. So Fresh Island Coconut Pacific Palm and Driftwood. It is a nice one. And then, as I said, I had a watermelon lemonade. This is watermelon uh, ice, sparkling water, and Meyer lemon. This was a gentle gel. I've been keeping these in my office because I just, I don't know. I like the gentle gels at home more. So these are work good uh, at my office and they finally refilled my soap, you know, after it was completely empty and you just, nothing came out. And then I put a note on it and you know, like day four, they finally replaced it. Yeah. Um, I love our janitorial staff, but sometimes it's a little frustrating when you don't get things refilled because uh, we don't have access to all of the buildings on campus. And yeah, it's, it's when we have like just this little suite, if we don't have stuff in our bathroom, we're SOL. All right, continuing with fragrance, I finished actually two perfumes. They're kind of both decants. This first one, uh, Joss sent me, uh, go check out her fragrance mixology channel. It's, she has so many good videos. I love her. Uh, she sent me this decant of LaBelle. I'm going to actually keep this because I'm probably going to refill this at some point. And I did like, I had used a lot of it, then I bought the bottle of perfume and then I refilled it so that I would have a travel size and then I used it all up and I was like, well, I actually used it up. So if I finish it again, I won't like bring it back, but I did finish that one and then I purchased this one on Macari. This is Bitter Peach by Tom Ford. I don't think you're gonna be able to see the, it's too shiny. Uh, this was a 3.4 mil and it makes me mad because there's like still perfume in there. I just can't make it come out. Maybe we'll try to spray my leg. Oh, now it's coming out. So my knees are gonna smell like bitter peach. Okay, well I got that out. This was like, this was ridiculously priced, which is why I started doing royalty scents because they have so many Tom Fords, but I wanted to try bitter peach and a couple other ones. It was like $65 for four of these. Yes, that was shipped, but that's a lot of money. And royalty scents, I get two uh, 10 mils, or eight mils, between eight and 10, ten mil. I don't remember the size. Uh, and it's $36.95 a month for me because I get two, so it's a little diff uh, little cheaper. Much better way, and then if I don't like it, I can pass it along and somebody gets a good size uh, fragrance sample. So don't buy them on Mercari. If you're wanting Tom Ford, go to Royalty Scents. I'll try to remember to list it down below. Let's talk hair care. So I finished a shampoo and conditioner. This is the R & Co Bel Air Smoothing Shampoo and Conditioner. The bottles are really cool. Like I liked the bottles. I wasn't a big fan of either of these. The conditioner was really, really thick and I lost a lot of it in the cap, just trying to get it out and it like dried in there, but it was a really thick conditioner. I don't feel like it really nourished my hair all that much. Um, and I, it still was pretty fly away as it was. So was not a big fan of these, would not purchase. These came in Fat Fit Fun, I'm pretty sure, or they were an add-on or something like that. So I was excited to try them. They, I tried them, they didn't work for me. Won't purchase, purchase them again. I don't think they're worth it. 
I don't know who they would work for, to be honest, because my hair is like very fine and pretty low maintenance, low key, and I was struggling. Granted, I was using a shampoo and conditioner that were absolutely terrible just before these, which I will tell you. So I don't know if they just didn't have enough time to work or what. So not included in an empties is something I return. So you're not going to see it in a declutter either. But what I did was I purchased these and if I can remember, I'll put a picture. Uh, I purchased at Costco. They had Shea Moisture shampoo and conditioners on sale a few months ago. So I purchased the leaders of them and honestly, they were the worst shampoo and conditioner that I had ever used. My hair was like gummy and matted and just, it was the most tangled my hair has ever been. Like I just could not get my hair to stay untangled, which was weird. And I definitely seeing like repercussions from using them still to this day. Um, so I did return them. They were awful and I took them back to Costco. And luckily, like if you don't have your receipt, if you ha bought it on your Costco card, which you have to, they could find it. Um, and the guy said, oh, we've been having so many of these returned. I don't even know why we're still selling them because everybody seems to be returning them. So yeah, Shea Moisture was absolutely terrible. Um, this, I don't know if, if my r &Co just didn't have enough time to re be fixed or if it was because I was using it with this leave-in, which I also hated. Uh, and this was also for Costco. I usually love Costco, but I've been struggling with some of their hair stuff. I do have another uh, like shampoo and conditioner. We'll see how those go. So this is Ava NYC. This is the Main Magic 1001 Primer with Argan Oil and Sunflower Seed Oil, 10 minute benefits, one miracle. There's still a little bit in here, like it's probably here. I'm going to go dump it down the sink. After I finish this, I hated this. I don't think this helps my hair one single bit. But for me, in conjunction with the two sets of shampoo and conditioner that I just didn't like, I didn't hate them. Like, I I was miserable uh, with the Shea Moisture. It was really bad. Um, the R Co was not as bad. Like they were still usable. But this 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 is I hated this one too. So uh, this is another giant no for me and and not recommend whatsoever. One hair product, kind of hair product, I'm counting it as a hair product, it's a supplement, uh, is from Arctic Fox. This is the Hair Repeat Gummies and it's for healthier hair and nails. I really, really enjoy these. They tasted so good. These were so tasty. Um, and this one has a whole bunch more ingredients, like higher potency than the other ones that I've been looking at because I've been, I compared a whole bunch of different vitamins um, not like in a video or anything, but I purchased it a whole bunch and I've been comparing them and deciding if I like them or not. These are my favorite so far. I like the hum, but these are cheaper and I, I enjoyed them even more. So Arctic Fox hair repeat gummies. If you're looking for something, I think they're worth it. Worth a look at least. All right. One just kind of random thing. It is a fragrance net nail file. This came in a fragrance uh, net order. So, uh, it, it didn't last very long and it wasn't super, I didn't feel like it really helped my nails all that much, but I can't like, there's like no use left of it. So it is, it, it's going away next to skincare. There's a lot of skincare in here. I finished the SK2 uh, skin balancing essence. I like it. I won't ever purchase it because it's too expensive. The Shani Darden retinol reform. This was fine. It was an okay serum. It wasn't my favorite. I didn't love it. Probably wouldn't purchase it, but if I got another sample, I would use it. I don't think I would use this as a sample again. I was, I remember really liking this, but now I just don't. So if I have another one of these, when I go through all of my skincare for my next project pan, I will pass this along. So this is the Too Cool for School All-in-One Egg Mellow 5-in-1 Firming Moisturizer. Wasn't a fan, wouldn't, wouldn't continue using it. This is just kind of a grid. Uh, staple uh, cleanser. This is the Purity Made Simple 3-in-1 Cleanser. I like this one. It does have a scent to it, but I feel like it does. it's pretty gentle and it does remove makeup. So in that, in that respect, it's really good. This is one thing that I will never purchase. I was sent it from Influencer for, re for review. This is the Conair. It's like the replacement brush head 
for the Clairsonic, they were trying to kind of like fit in. But there is Clairsonic. There is one store that bought um, Clairsonic so you can still get replacements and stuff. They're more expensive than they used to be, which kind of makes sense. But I'm excited about that. But this was absolutely terrible. Um, I, my Clairsonic fell into the tub and this went straight into the drain and I was like, that's it. I've been like wanting to get rid of it, uh, but that, that was the sign. So I did wash it after that, but I'm not going to put it on my face again. So it, it, you can use it on a Conair one too, but then it has this extension on it, but then it doesn't fit flat in your Clairsonic. So water spurts out everywhere around it if you're not using it like in the shower. So the first time I used it, I used it at the sink like I normally did, and I had water like everywhere. There is a fine mist over absolutely everything um, in the on the counter and my medicine cabinet and everything. So I hated this. I've not liked it. I don't feel like it's quite, I don't know, it just, it felt rougher than my normal Clarisonics. And I have like a variety of Clarisonics that I use, brush heads. So no, don't recommend it. Would not get it. Stay away. I did like this mask though. And I have a, another one of this coming because I ordered the Ipsy Glow Recipe Set. Uh, this is the Watermelon Glow Hyaluronic Clay Pore Tight Facial. It was a nice mask. It was kind of like, I would say it's similar to Irish More Mud. Not, not quite there, but in that it's a clay mask, so it does um, do some, some clarifying, but it also has a hyaluronic in it, so it felt like a little moisturizing at the same time. It was weird. I liked it. I liked the scent of it, so happy to be getting another one of that. As always, I always love my Mario Badescu Anti-Acne Serum. It's a good one. I will continue purchasing it. Then uh, Microderm Abrasion from Dr. Bryant. I like the black one a little bit more than the blue one, but I will take the blue one if it's free or like an included in a subscription. I will take it, but I will never purchase this. Even at half price, it's like 30 or $40 for the Dr. Brandt scrub, which is too much. Finished uh, another thing of Hero patches. I don't like these um, unless like I have a zit that has like, you know, the pus is already showing at the surface. That sounds so gross. Um, but like I get a lot of more cystic acne. So this just doesn't work at all because it's not actually drawing anything out. Um, it's just kind of sitting there. So I like the ones that are medicated and said, wouldn't repurchase these for, for that reason. Finished the serum. I'm so happy about this one. This is the Boshia, Boshia uh, Vitamin B12 Hydration Booster Serum. It was oily. The packaging, like, I don't know if you can see, but there's like oil on the outside of it. Um, it was messy. You had to shake it. There, can you see like all of the oil in the middle there? Ugh, terrible packaging for this type of a formula. I like airless pumps like this, but not for this when it's actually kind of like letting the product go all over the place. Borghese um, Roma, this is the creme, cream cleanser. Did not like this. It kind of smells fishy. Uh, smells kind of like the Ar Alterna hair care, so was not a fan. Kate Somerville Retinol uh, Plus Retinol Vitamin C uh, Power Serum. This was fine. I, I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. If I had it again, I would use it again, but... Not one that I would reach out, uh, rush out and purchase. I'm very picky about my retinols. Part of that is because I've been wearing, using a retinol since I was like 18, 19. I was still in college when I started using retinol to help uh, with acne and it has helped and I need to be um, less cavalier, I guess, with trying different retinols because um, consistency does help. But my skin is better. I do, I am getting occasional breakouts around my jaw line though, but. What can you do? All right, fresh floral floral recovery calming mask. This was one, this in the glow recipe, I wasn't sure if I was gonna finish in my project pan update, but I did, so I'm, I'm not gonna keep them around for two more months, sorry. Uh, this one was nice. This is actually more of an overnight mask. It's not like a mask that you rinse off. So I did enjoy this as like a night moisturizer. I love this eye cream. This is probably my favorite eye cream. This is the Estee Lauder uh, Advanced Night Repair Eye it is kind of, it's just really emollient and slightly gooey, which sounds bad, but it's just really nice and it feels moisturizing and doesn't get into my eyes 
I really, I just really like this. Uh, I'm sad that my giant one is gone. I'm using some other eye creams, but I think I have some other samples of this, so we will be using those. Finished a pack of Killa uh, Spot Clarifying Patch Kit from Zitsticka. These have like the two steps to it, so you have like a little pad that you use, and then you use the micro dart. I used up the four of them over the course of the last couple of months. I'm glad that I picked up multiples of these during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty because they are really expensive. I think they end up being about $2 a patch, $4, I don't even remember. They're really expensive, but I got, I'm glad that I picked up some more during that sale. Kate Somerville Wrinkle Warrior Hydration Gel was not a fan, not as good as Clinique Moisture Surge, was not something that I would use again. I, if I got it again, I would probably pass it along. I finished a full size mask. This one I have been trying to use for years because this is not a regular use mask for me. This is the Peter Thomas Roth Therapeutic Sulfur Mask. So sulfur masks I don't use, you know, maybe every month, every three weeks. Um, I, I had to really clean it out because it was, it was full of residue. It still smells like slightly like sulfur, not as bad as like the hot springs at uh, Yellowstone or anything like that if you've ever been around that um, but it really does help and you can use it as a spot treatment I'm just so proud of myself for finishing that because that's been a goal for at least two of my mask um, projects that I did not do very well on and I didn't even try to do mask uh, masking May or anything because life was just too much finished a moisturizer I really like this moisturizer the jar is so heavy though like this still has so much heft to it it's really beautiful they do such a nice job on it this is the benefit total moisture facial cream this is too heavily scented for my face though like it smells nice it has a nice scent to it but this is a neck and chest moisturizer for me just because of the scent but i really like it and um if i got any more sets from benefit i would be happy to use it yeah, I told you I finished a lot of things this month. So on to makeup. I finished some makeup removing wipes. I got these at Tuesday morning. I did not like these. These are not ones that I would purchase again. This is the Petal Fresh Pure Toning and Balancing Rose Makeup Removing Cleansing Wipes. I just used them for swatches when I was doing videos. But as you can see, like especially from my lipstick videos, they didn't do the best job of cleaning. They were fine, but I wouldn't use them on my, like I used them on my face and I didn't feel like I got super clean with them. So definitely need something stronger there. Then we have the Urban, De Urban Decay Summer Solstice. Uh, this is the All Nighter Setting Spray. This was fine. It does have a, I don't, you don't need to see the next thing. Uh, it does have a scent to it. It was fine. It wasn't like obnoxious or anything. It is still the same formula. So yes, I have, I think two more of these cause I got a three pack of them when I got them cause they were like super cheap and I was so excited about it. Fruit Fetish from Milani. This is the Kiwi Watermelon Scented Setting Spray. So this one I got and I bought it. It had like the little seal on it. Didn't think much of it. I found three of them at the altar next to my aunt's house. I was so excited at Thanksgiving. Popped it open and went, there, there's no spray thing. And then I was like, okay, well maybe. And then I noticed that it's broken down there. So um, somebody broke this and just put the sticker back over it, which I'm sorry, but that just is a little sketchy to me. So I did, I found that you can take a butter knife and I prop, pop the top off and I poured this in my all nighter setting spray. By the way, I did not like the sprayer on this one. I liked the full size spray better. So uh, yeah. But yeah, so this is in my Urban Decay All Nighter setting thing. I have a little bit left, but I'm not gonna like bring that back on or anything. I don't like this one as much as the original one that I got, which was like peach raspberry or something like that. That was my favorite. This one, I don't know. There's something, the set isn't the greatest. It's still a pretty good setting spray. It is what I'm wearing today. I also have a new powder on though. So take that, like if it looks funky, it's, it's the powder. Um, I have no idea though, but yes, I uh, like the Milani, but not, maybe not necessarily that scent. And I have another one of it too. 
Okay, then we have Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin Undetectable Stay True Foundation, and I am in the shade 1RO2, which used to be R210, and I was sent this from Influencer for Review. I loved this foundation. I just, this was like my go-to foundation. It's up there with Double Wear. It's a little bit, I feel like this gives a little bit more coverage, and it's supposed to be able to, that you can adjust the coverage with it. I don't know. I put it on the same. So I really did enjoy this. I wish I could get more of it out, but I just, I couldn't get any more out. So yes, this is a good one. I would recommend it, even though it was sent to me. I still loved it. Was it, I don't know what to think about this. This is from Natasha Moore. I think that was the name. And it is a, a makeup sponge. I got this in my Macy's Beauty box. It was fine. It's kind of a weird shape. But it's 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 all gummy and gross and I'm glad that it's gone. It didn't la did it last like a month and a half? Maybe it might have I might have stretched it two two months, but I just wish sponges would last a little longer. And I don't know if it's something if it's me if they're just not lasting as long, or if I like if the foundations I'm using because I, I feel like when I started they lasted longer, or maybe I just wasn't as picky. Who knows? Finished a setting powder. I finished so much makeup. This is the Pretty Vulgar uh, Powder Room Mad About It Translucent, se Translucent Setting Powder. I really like this. It does come with like a puff on it, which I always take out. And then um, it had a sifter, but I took the sifter out so that I could get every little bit out. And then I put in um, my Sample Saturday that you're going to see on Saturday. You're going to see like this little translucent powder, uh, like it's basically was part of a foil uh but i put it in here so i used that up too i really like that one it is up there with the Too faced peach perfect they're both ones that i would purchase again and i have purchased that one after like i think that's my third one that i've gone through 24 hour brow setter from benefit this was fine i don't love this one i don't like it's a little goopy it gets a little gluey towards the end. I've never had that with the other ones, but right now I don't have any more brow. I know I have some brow stuff at my parents' house, so when I get there, we'll start be using brow gel again. I just, I couldn't use it anymore. I finished a blush. Can you believe it? I am so happy. Um, so this is, uh, I have no idea what the color is because it's suffered some damage over the years. This is obviously super old. This is from Maybelline. It was kind of a mauve -y. It was slightly, you know, more plummy. Not quite plummy, but that type of a shade. And I did, I did not use all of it, I will say. It broke up because I dropped it. Um, I had this huge, huge pan in it. And then I dropped it and some of it cracked. And then as I was using it, like bits, little chunks of it fell into the sink and I was not going to pull those back out of the sink. So some of those just went down the drain or I picked them up and threw them in the trash, but I did use almost all of it. It was just here and there, little chunks of it. I was like, mm, if you've gone into the sink, I'm not going to come back for you. Finished a lipstick. Uh, this is just a sample lipstick, but it's still a lipstick. So I'm still excited. This is from Bare Minerals. This is the Bear Pro. I have no idea what the shade is because there is no shade listed. Don't know why. Um, this is what it looks like. Yeah, there's just like I could probably get one more use out of it, but it's scraping when I'm using it. So I'm calling it a day. This goes on really beautifully, really smooth. Um, feels really nice, kind of creamy. And then it like dries down matte and then you're like my lips have no move at all to them there's no slip at all which was weird it so it was one that I definitely would put lip gloss over and then usually would like wipe off it all because it got it felt too heavy and gloopy I don't like that feeling so I know people wear lip gloss over lipstick all the time and I'm like I can't stand that I want something on my lips that feels like I don't know. It feels too heavy, too gloopy. Mm. I'm so glad I finished this one too. It looks like I have more in it, like that it's settled down now, but at the end of May, there, there was nothing that I could pull out of it. This is orgasm from NARS. I don't like, I am so over the name, but now like, yeah, now I'm getting more. I'm still calling it. I'm still, I'm, I'm done. Um, I, it grew on me. I became, 
I did not like it at all at first, but I was like, the color works. It's fine. It's just not, you know, I've been using my Fenty's, which I really love, um, and going through those and finishing those. So this formula was nowhere near that nice, but it was fine. It, it was, I grew more tolerant of, of it as we went, but I am glad that it has gone. I feel like excited, a full size lip gloss. That's awesome. Skincare. I mean, not skincare, body care. I, this video is going to be like forever long. So we have C.O. Bigelow Unscented Superb Body Lotion. Used to sell this at Bath and Body Works ages ago. It is so old. Glad that it is gone. Not the biggest fan of no scent. It was fine. I, it moisturized, but I feel like it's been drier here than normal. I feel drier than normal. So I've been adding like lotion every day instead of every other day. Um, like usually I just put on lotion after a shower, but then there's been like my arms and legs. I've just been adding extra lotion in between on days in between showers. So I don't know. Uh, this one was a nice scent. This is the Bath and Body Works Aromatherapy Mandarin Lime. It's supposed to have energy. It, it, I guess. I don't. Yeah, I guess it does. I, I like citruses, so that's why I got Mandarin Lime in the first place. Glad that it's gone, though, because it was starting to dehydrate. Um, and, like, the volume of it was lowering. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's why, that's why it went into this. Uh, project pan. So those two count towards my project pan. I'm very excited. So does this one. This is the secret ultimate four in one protection, fresh scent, 48 hour and visible solid. Yeah. It was fine. I don't know. The scent is, you know, kind of, it's blah. It was fine. Um, it, it did its job. That's all, that's all I ask of it. Um, so glad that it is out, uh, so that I can, I don't know. I've been using the same two deodorants, like switching them back and forth because I bought packs of them at Costco and I'm like, oh, I'm ready for some other stuff. So excited to finish all of those things. All right. Next up is from Kopari. This is the coconut crush scrub. I got this at TJ Maxx for $12.99. It was overpriced. Um, it's fine. Like it has a nice, uh, packaging to it. This is the old packaging, by the way. It's the scent almost smells slightly like buttery popcorn, just a little bit. I don't know. Um, my main problem with this is it left the tub really greasy because I think it has coconut oil in it. Yeah. That's the first and second ingredient. So, um, yeah, if you're worried about slipping around or anything or coating everything in coconut oil, th this one isn't great for that. I will stick to my Treat Hut. Treat Hut, I'm glad that I tried it and it was fun to ha try something different, but it's not one that I would repurchase, especially I think it's like $40 normally. And it was like going to be on, it's either 36 or 40 and it was going to be half price during Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty. And I found it for a little bit less at TJ Maxx and and then I didn't purchase it because I was like, I don't love it. Hand creams. We're going to finish off with a bang. So we have firecracker pop, which is like cherry and lime. And it smells so good. I really love this. I, this was the only firecracker pop that I had found prior to this last uh, month. So was so glad to have that. Loved the hand cream. Would repurchase it. Same with the Waikiki Beach Coconut. I really like this one. This is kind of a dry coconut scent. It's just really nice. It's, you know, smells slightly tropical, but it's pretty subtle at the same time. So I really liked that one. And then I finished Peppermint Twist from Dionysus, which is the goat milk skincare. I like this brand. I like this hand cream. This was not my favorite. It definitely felt minty on my hands. Like there was a cooling effect on it. And I had to be really careful that like I didn't rub my eyes because then my eyes would hurt because like the skin around it because I do have a sensitivity to peppermint on my face. Um, it didn't seem to affect my hands, but I know like my lips and my mouth, I can't have peppermint in lip products or peppermint toothpaste or anything. So it was fine, but I would, if I got peppermint twist again, I probably would, would give it away. I got like a whole bunch of these in different, a pack, I think. So that's where I got that one. That's it. 
I finished 50, 50 items. There's so much. I'm so proud of myself for the makeup because some of that makeup is huge, like the setting powder, the blush, a lipstick, a lip gloss, um, a, set, a foundation, like those things take a while to use up. So I'm very excited about that. I feel like I completed a lot of things and um, yeah. So at the end of the month, you will see my body care project pan update. So I have three that are going to be in there and then hopefully I have, I think I have four things left. We'll see if I can get all four of those done before the end of June. Let me know how you are doing. Let me know if you have any ambitions for using up products. Um, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. Thank you so much for stopping by and I can't wait to talk to you next time. Bye.